السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أسأل الله أن كل يوم أصبحتم بنعمة من الله وفضل وصحة وعافية <تصفيق> المرة الماضية حكينا عن الـ CDF الـ Cumulative Distribution Function وحكينا عن الـ Definition تاعه for both Continuous and Discrete Random Variables وحكينا عن الـ Properties تاعونا بس نتذكر أن الـ CDF الـ Point عبارة عن الـ Probability أن الـ Random Variable موجود من ناقص infinity up to that point أوكي تمام وبلشنا نحكي عن just one example اللي هو عن على discrete random variable أوكي وكان عندي discrete random variable وI was given إيش ال PMF تاعه وكان بدي أوجد لازم أوجد له إيش ال CDF تاعه أوكي وبلشنا بال point الأولى اللي هي إذا حكيت الآن إيش البرولتي إنه الراندوم فيريبل أقل من ناقص واحد قاعد أنا بحكي إيش البرولتي إنه الراندوم فيريبل من ماينس إنفينيتي أب للناقص واحد أوكي آه والناقص واحد is not included as you see in here فـ I need to add البروبيليتيز للبوينتس اللي هم أقل من ناقص واحد اللي هم من ناقص إنفينيتي أب الناقص واحد والناقص واحد is excluded as you see from here from the graph or from the PMF there are no points below the minus one so the probability of this um, event is ish, exactly zero. Hello, the point one. This is not the CDF of minus one. This is not a CDF of minus one. It is not CDF of minus one. Why? Because the CDF per the definition, there should be an equality. Okay. And here, as you see, there is no equality. So this is not minus one. So what's the CDF of minus one? Here is the CDF of minus one. Okay. It is the probability that the random variable x is greater than minus infinity and less than or equal minus one. So I need to add all the probabilities of the all of all points from minus infinity up to minus one and including the probability of minus one. As you see, I have just here single point with the probability point 0.1, so f of x of minus 1 equal point 0.1, point one. okay, good. I go one step further, okay, what's the probability, what's the CDF of uh, minus 0.5, okay, it is the probability that the random variable is greater than minus infinity up to minus 0.5, and the minus 0.5 is included. So I, how many points do I have in here? Two points, one with the probability 0.1 and another with the probability 0.2. I add these points and it gives me 0.3. <coughs> what's the probability that, okay, what's the CDF of 0.7? Likewise, okay. I add the probabilities of all points from minus infinity up to 0.7. I am including the probability of the point 0.7, so which is 0.1 plus 0.2 plus 0.1. Or, or it is because I already added the points up to here, which gives me the CDF of minus 0.5. What's the CDF of 0.7? I already accumulated probabilities of points up to minus 0.5. I need to add this value I already add to the, because I already accumulated values up to here, I need to add just this point to the accumulated value. And this is why it's called cumulative, the cumulative, um, uh, cumulative distribution, cumulative distribution function. Good? Okay. So either I add the probability of minus one, minus 0 0.5, 0 0.7, or just what's the CDF of minus 0 0.5? It's 0 0.3, and I add just the probability of the, the next point I'm stepping on. 
which is points, uh, the probability of 0 0.7, which is 0 0.1. So it is 0 0.3 plus 0 0.4, okay? What's the CDF of 1.5? Okay, it is the probabilities. I already accumulated up to 0 0.7, which is 0 0.4 plus the point I'm stepping on, and I am stepping on the point 1.5. So it is gonna be one, it's gonna be 0.4 plus, what's the probability of this point, 1.5? It is 0.4, so 0.4 plus 0.4, it gives me 0.8, okay? And the last one, the last point in the range, what's the CDF of three, okay? It is, I'm adding either, I'm adding the probabilities of all points from minus infinity to the three, and I'm including the three, so I'm adding the probabilities of all these points, and if you add them, they will be one, okay? Or, I already accumulated the probabilities up to 1.5, which is 0.8, and I add just the probability of a single point I'm stepping into, which is 0.2. So what I already accumulated plus what is 0.2, okay? Which gives me exactly one. <coughs> good, good. Uh, now, uh, all I need just to make sure you all understood how I came up with these points and in two ways, either I add the point I'm stepping on to the previous accumulated value or previous cumulated value, or I add them from the beginning, which is gonna be the same, okay, as you see from here, okay? Uh, is everything, okay. If I am asked to find what's the probability <coughs> of the random variable x between 0.7 and three, okay, and the point seven is included as you see, and the three is excluded. So what's the probability of this, okay? And I need to find it in two ways. <coughs> First of all, in term, uh, via the PMF, and the second via the CDF. Let me see, so what's the probability that the random variable between point seven Okay, and three. Okay, but the three is excluded, so I don't need to add them. As you see here, pair this inequality, what, what are the points that are included in this inequality? Just these, the, the probability of these points. So I add 0.1 plus 0.4, which gives me what? 0.5, okay? It is just the probability of 0.7 plus the probability on 0.5, which gives me 0.5, okay? The three is excluded, the 0.7 is included, and I have only these points, okay? Now, from the property here, with the property number four, okay? tells me I can find it through the CDF. Let me see if I can find it through the CDF, okay, via the CDF. What's f of, again, this is f of x of 3 minus f of x of 0.7. f of x of 3, what is f of x of uh, 3? It is 1 minus f of x of 0 0.7, 0 0.4. 1 minus 0.4, it gives me 0 0.6, which is, again, I have two answers that are not consistent. So I should have made some mistake in here. Let me see which one is the correct answer, okay? If I go and read the property very closely, very carefully, okay, this tells me what's the probability of x greater than x1, less or equal, x2, X1 is excluded, X2 is included. This equals F of X2 minus F of X1. Okay, so here, excluded, here, included. If I go back to this inequality, I see in here, this is 
included and this is excluded. So I cannot apply this. So this is a wrong answer, okay? But why I wrote it in here, why I wrote it in here, just to show you, if you do things without paying care, paying um, attention, close attention to them, you might do mistakes, okay? Now, the, uh, the question, can't I use the CDF to answer this question? No, I can't, okay? But I have to transform this inequality to something like this, whereas there is no inequality on the lower bound and there is an equality on the upper bound of the inequality, okay? So, it asks me, what's the probability that x between 0.7 and 3. Let me draw an open circle here and make a closed circle in here, which means 0.7 is included and the 0.3 is excluded. So I have just two points, and this is what the PMF told me. Now, can I transform this inequality into a, a form where I have an open from the left and close from the right so it can it would be consistent with the cdf yes i just shift this okay the 0.7 to the okay to the previous value so this will be okay what's the probability okay what's the probability that x is greater than minus 0.5 and what less or equal 1.5 as you see from here okay this inequality and this inequality they both are equivalent how i can tell they are equivalent now the points that are included into this are the same as the points included into this and the points that are not part of this are the points that are not part of this Okay, so both, they are the same. So the, the probability that x greater than or equal 0.7 and less than 3 equivalent to saying, what's the probability that x greater than minus 0.5 and this or equal 1.5, okay? They are equivalent because they include exactly the same points and they exclude exactly the same points. But what's the, what's the beauty about this second inequality? It, it, now it is consistent with the, what, with the CDF, okay? So this is the inequality point seven less or equal x less than 3 equivalent to saying x greater than minus 0.5 and less or equal 1.5 okay now this is consistent with the definition of cdf now i can say the, uh, as you see from here okay this is f of x of 1.5 minus f of x of minus 0.5 okay what's f of x of minus 0.5 well it is 0.8 what's f of x of minus 0.5 it is 0.3 which is the answer 0.5 which is consistent with the pmf now okay so this is wrong okay because i just applied the cdf blind okay with not paying paying um, attention or being so careful about the mathematics in there okay is this point clear please is this point clear the last one it is just doing a shift doing a shift because here i need this to be not it, it should be there here it should be um, no equality and here should be equality so i just downgrade this one step below and I downgrade this one step below so it becomes here 
uh, uh, equality and their inequality. And from the, the plot, it is uh, much clearer, actually. Okay. And here, just let me emphasize the points when we say the next point and the previous point. So if I have here the point seven, which is x, x plus one, which is the next point, it is not 1.7, which is the next point. If I have x point seven, x minus one, the previous value, it is not minus 0.3, and I'm here minus 0.5, which is the previous value. Okay, good. Okay. Good. So this is the CDF I already found it in the previous slide f of x of minus 1.1 f of x of minus 0.5.3 f of x of 0.7.4 f of x 1.5.8 f of x of 3 is 1 this is what i found in the previous slide and here i already i found the f of x in the enumeration i wrote it in the enumeration way okay let me see if i can plot the f of x and see what's the shape of, 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 of x, okay? But let me go back here. If I ask, suppose I have x in here. Yeah, suppose I have x in here. What's f of x of this value? Whatever it might be, it is the probability that the random variable equal to this value or less than, or less than Again, there are no points, so this is zero. Any point you take it from minus infinity to minus one, f of x of it is gonna be zero. Now, f of x to four minus one, as we said, it is point one. What's f of x to the this point in here? What's the f of x of the point in here? We are asking what's the probability that the random variable is less or equal to this value. I have just one value, which is 0.1. So f of x will be constant to this value. It will raise as one step. It will stay constant because I have no values up to this spike, okay, and it will raise. And this is what we are going to see in here, okay? So let us plot f of x. If I take any point less than minus one, f of x is gonna be zero, okay? And I have here the arrowhead, which means this comes from minus infinity. Any point less than minus one, f of x is gonna be zero. What's f of x of minus one? It is point 0.1, it is not zero. And this is always, oh, and this is open. So I have here f of x of minus one, what it is 0.1 as you see in here it is 0.1 the dot the solid dot if you take any point as we said from here f of x will be constant and equals 0.1 okay what's and up to the h minus 0.5 what's f of x of minus 0.5 it is 0.3 so it is gonna be Point three. It jumps from here to here, okay? It jumps from here to here. If you take any point in here, it will be constant and equal to point three. What's f of x of point seven? It is point four. What, of, what is f of x of 1.5? It is point eight and it stays constant because I have no points to add probabilities for them in this interval up to three. What's f of x of three? It is exactly one, okay? It is exactly one and it will stay one up to infinity. And I have here the arrowhead, it points up to infinity. Any point from here to infinity, the f of x is one because I have no points in this interval, okay? After the three, as you see, okay? Okay, uh, before showing you the uh, relation between f of x and the PMF, the PDF and the PMF, okay, 
let me just pause to see if you got questions on here. Okay. And now I'll go back to the properties and I demonstrate them in terms of this example. You have questions. You have questions how we plot this. By the way, this is the plot of a function you know previously from the calculus. It's called the what? The greatest integer function. What's the greatest integer function? Bioktiran akbar adat sahih. Okay. Now, every discrete random variable. Again, we call this the plot of the CDF. It is staircase shape. What we what do we mean by staircase shape? Stairs. Ibara an daraj. Okay. Hai wahad or steps. Stairs or steps, okay? All discrete random variables, all discrete random variables without any exceptions, CDF plot ta'hum rah yikun staircase. Tamam? This is the first point. Second point, shu random variable, discrete random variable, bikhtalif an discrete random variable ta'ni, ba'adad steps. المكان وين كل ستيب صارت وارتفاع كل ستيب تمام؟ Again كل الراندوم variables عبارة will have the staircase shape هلا discrete random variable A بختلف عن discrete random variable B CDF الهم رسماتهم بختلف بإيش بعدد الستيبس or مكان كل ستيب على x axis وين step صارت وارتفاع كل step على y axis اوكي تمام good هلا اوكي فيش questions appear اوكي let me go back على properties تاعون cdf و i demonstrate them بالexample اللي هلا شفته f of x of minus infinity it is zero و f of x of infinity one so as you see in here i again f of x of 3 already 1 and it will continue 1 okay again and from here I can conclu conclude that there are no points beyond 3 okay because if there were points then I'll add the, prob the probability of this and the curve will be become greater than 1 and it should not go beyond 1 because this is probability, okay? From here, I can conclude that there are no points be below minus 1 because the CDF already 0 because if there are points in here, then, the, then, then what? This is already zero, okay? Then the CDF before that, it should be negative and the CDF cannot be negative because it's a probability, okay? Now, here, the f of x of minus one is uh, zero. Any point from here up to minus infinity, the f of x will be zero. The f of x of three is one. Any point from here up to infinity and including infinity, f of x of it will be one. Okay, so in now I I already what I already uh, I already showed you the um, demonstrated to you the property number one and property number two. Okay, as you see from here also, as we move from left to the right, you we are adding probabilities to the previous value. I have some value. I am adding over it. I am adding over it, and I am adding positive things, so the f of x can, okay, if I am adding, it should increase. Or it stays, what? This is the meaning of f of x is non-decreasing. Either it is increasing, as we see from here to here, it is increasing from here to here, 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 but it stays constant, in here, this is the meaning of non-decreasing. Either it is increasing or stays constant. And stays constant when I don't have any points to add the probability for them in that interval. If I find a, a, a point, I need to add the probability of it, what the it, it f of x increases, okay? Good. Uh, 
the verification of this again we 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 already proved this okay uh okay and we showed this in the previous slide how uh what's the again why, why is this true okay because i found it in terms of the pmf and i found it in terms of the cdf and we showed this okay i'll go to this property okay property number five as you see in here okay and in the previous slide what's the probability what's the f of x of 1.5 it is going to be exactly the CDF of 0.7 plus the PMF of 1.5. Okay, good. So, F of X, we already used, did this. F of X of X equal whatever value I have accumulated so far which means what do we mean by so far x minus one the previous value of x plus the probability of the point i am stepping onto this is exactly what we have been saying now f of x of a new value or this the point i am stepping in, on, on equal whatever value I have accumulated, the value of the CDF of the previous step, plus the probability of the current step or the step, uh, the, 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 the point, the current point or the point I am stepping on, which is exactly this. Okay, we got 10 minutes more before uh, the, the meeting will end. Okay, good. We, we, we already used this, okay? Now from here, it follows that the P of X, what's the probability? The PMF is the probability of what's the, of a single value equal to F of X of X minus F of X of X minus one. Okay, and this is the thing we talked about last time, and it maybe it was not clear, but now graphically it, it is clear, and this is for the discrete random model. Let's come to this last property. F of x from the right equal f of x. We say that the f of x is continuous from the right. What does this mean? See, just remember this. Remember this, f of x equal, what the, uh, f of x is continuous from the right. What does it mean? It means mathematically, f of x of a point equal f of x to the right of this point, okay? So, here, f of x of minus 0.5 equal the point, the probability of the point to the right of it. This is the point to the right of it. Okay, what's f of x of 0.7? It is the probability of the point just to the right of it. What's the probability of point of three? It is the probability of the point to the right of three. So it is always that the plot of the CDF of discrete random variable is always gonna be closed from left and open from the right. Why is this? Because the probability of this point, it should be the probability of the point to the right of it, not to the left of it. Okay, and this is the meaning of f of x continuous from the right. Okay, good. So, and just be careful. What's the probability of 1.5? It is not 0.4. It is this point because it is open from here, it's closed from here, it is 0.8. And this is property number six. Are, are these points now clear? Are, these, are the points clear? Uh, the properties in, in the context of this example, and it's always gonna be this thing. It's always gonna be this thing because it's property of CDF. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, 
Do you have questions? Okay. Here I have for the same random variable, I have the PMF we plotted, we draw it uh, previously. We knew how to do this. Today we covered how to do this. Just I want to show you what is what is the relation between this and this. The PMF of any run, discrete random variable is going to be spikes. The plot of a, the, the plot of a PMF of any discrete random variable is going to be spikes. The plot of a CDF of any discrete random variable is going to be staircase. See, I have stairs. I have stairs exactly at the same points where I have spikes. I have stair in here because I have spike in here. I have step in here because I have a spike in here. And it goes the other way around. I have a spike in here because I have a step in here. I have a spike in here because I have a step in here. So where, where, wherever you have spikes in the PMF, you are going to have the steps in the CDF. Exactly. Not this. Now, the height of each step, the height of this step is 0.3 minus 0.1, which is P um, the step of this, P of X, the, the height of this step, the height not from zero, when I'm the height from the previous step, اللي هي 0.3 minus 0.1 اللي هي P of X للإيش للناقص 0.5 okay قديش هاي الستيب الهاي تاعها من البريفيوس ستيب مش من الهاي من الزيرو اللي هي هاي التساوي الهاي لهاي الستيب خلنا نيجي هون الهاي للستيب هاي من البريفيوس ستيب الهاي تاعها قديش هاي الهاي للستيب هاي من البريفيوس ستيب اللي هي gonna be 0.8 Minus 0.4, which is 0.4, which is high. The height of the step high, which is 1 minus 0.8, which is 0.2. Okay. So the relation between the PM, the plot of the PMF to CDF. Wherever you have spike in the PMF, you have a step in the CDF. And the number of steps would be the number of spikes. طول الستيب من الستيب اللي قبلها مش الارتفاع تاع الهايت من ما بنحكي عن الهايت للستيب هاي من الزيرو وانما الهايت من البريفيوس ستيب از جانا بي ذا سبايك الهايت للسبايك هذيك اللي موجوده على نفس البوينت واضح واضح الريليشن بين سو اف اي ام جيفن ذا بي ام اف ات از ايزي ستريت فورورد تو جيت ذا بلوت اوف ذا سي دي اف Conversely, in the other way around, if I have the plot of the CDF, it is straightforward to get the plot of the PMF. Okay, good. Clear the points, clear. We got two minutes more. Okay, and the next thing is an, an example about continuous random variable. Uh, for your uh, colleagues in the first section, I already we already covered this, but I uh, in two minutes even I cannot cover uh, a couple of points on here, and just I'll stop in here. I'm not going in here, and I'll see if you got questions in the half uh, one minute and half left for us. Okay, guys, yeah, please ask me uh, about anything we covered in today's. Uh, Lesson. Yes. Everything is everything clear. Well, just we'll save the example of the continuous random variable to next lesson, inshallah. Okay. But thank you, Saad, uh, for your uh, feedback. Everything uh, clear. Okay. Good. And it's clear um, now, it, uh, uh, I mean, the properties one became clear in the context of the 
CD and in the context of a discrete random variable I hope so. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Because there are no questions. Okay. Assalamu uh, alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. We'll stop in here. Inshallah next time we'll talk about the continuous random variable. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.